spending entirely way too much time building this DRDT2 table. Um, I'm probably going into way much more detail than I should be, but it's a slow moving fun day. Um, so far, this is what we have. Um, pretty much ripped all the sheets down, nailed it together, glued it together. Um, really just following the plan. It's pretty much straightforward. I'm just spending too much time doing it. Um, but one thing to keep in mind with the measurements they, that they give you, they tell you that this gap here is supposed to be three, uh, let's see here, three and one sixteenth inch wide to account for the, uh, the frame itself. If you're going to carpet it, make it a little bit bigger than that. I made mine exactly three and one sixteenth, uh, but then after wrapping carpet around it and whatnot, Get a whole lot smaller. So I actually ended up having to, after I carpeted one side, did a test fit and it was way too tight. So I had to take a uh, angle grinder with a little flat disc on it and pull it off another, probably another eighth of an inch. Um, I think it'll still be snug, but it'll be nice and tied up against it. Um, but that's really the biggest thing to keep in mind with this is account for the carpet there. Um, as far as the carpet that I chose, it's this really cheap outdoor grade carpet. It's like $19 for a roll of it. I'm not sure how big the roll is. Probably six feet, maybe like six feet by 12 feet. Um, anyways, back section of Lowe's, back in the carpet, um, carpet department in the uh, back end gap. Anyways, super cheap stuff. Um, the reason I went with this is you'll see it has um, little ridges where I can nicely hide any of my staples so the staples won't scratch any of the aluminum. Um, as well as any chips, this is my theory, is that any like um, any loose bits of metal or anything are going to want to fall into the inside of the canyon versus lay right on top of it and scratch any of my sheet metal. We'll see if that ends up being true. I'm probably way overthinking this. I've spent, I think, I don't even know how long so far, like four hours so far on this, which is probably way too long. Uh, but I have nothing else to do today, so it's going to be the perfect table or close to it. Um, so anyway, let's keep going. So one thing that I am doing after I go through and put a line of staples is I'm going and knocking down each of the heads of the, uh, of the actual staples. For some reason, this staple gun, it's always done this, uh, but it doesn't send them through all the way. So I have to just chase it back up with a, uh, I'll do that and send them all deeper. So I am going back through and anywhere where it's got that puffiness to it, I know it doesn't matter, but I'm a little bit OCD with stuff like that. Um, it doesn't matter though. But I go back through, do it anyways, and then I know, I know this doesn't matter either, but since that's a silver nail, and this is darker material, I go back through and sharpen it. And it, I just, I think I'm a little bit OCD about stuff like that. But it does hide it nice. I don't know if that's gonna be in frame or not. We'll see. All right, that side fits. Watch me drop it right now and ruin the whole project. That would be a bad day. Perfect. Like a glove. And then I did this a little bit backwards. These are the actual uh, stands that go underneath. They've been drying this whole time. I think you're supposed to build this all together all at once, then wrap it afterwards. Uh, but did things backwards. So let's see if we can get this put together. Right 
so you'll see what I mean when I uh, chunked it. So that one went out the side. That one, I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but he went out totally sideways. Had another one creep out the side there. And then lost one more there. Overall, not too shabby. I'll let this guy dry and then we'll take a look when it's done. Alrighty, it's been a couple of days. Here's what the final product looks like. Overall, fits really well. Fits actually pretty tight. If I can go back and do it again, I probably would have ground down a little bit more uh, material on the side just to make more room for the carpet. Um, but it does fit. It's a little bit tight, so I'll have to kind of push it in at first. Um, but that may be a good thing. It may keep this thing from wobbling and whatnot. Um, but overall, very happy with the, uh, the end result. So should work and uh, yeah, so let's get to dimpling.